and uh, uh, you know there should have been a full course yell and uh, yeah that is all right. He's, we were reported he's on his way back to his pit. Sorry to have Fate steal one from you here today. Thanks. Here's Mario. Mario Andretti indeed coming in all in all not a very good day for the Andrettis here in Detroit. Mario back on pit road nor for Paul Newman and Carl Haas the owners of that team who had such high hopes all weekend long after Michael's great performance in taking the pole and you can see the damage on Mario's car David the, well, the, front, sus the front suspension looks yeah. remarkably underrange you can see how the front wing must have gone right under the truck never touched it at all and it's just buried itself into the top part of the front body there and with only just a few laps to go in this race 13 odd laps to go I can see them putting some tape over that hole and uh, he can run up Mike Joy with Mario Andretti well, Mario's out of the car and he's getting a cold drink of water. He's watching the work continue on the car and it looks as if there's a good chance that they can get this car back into the race. And as we told you, the radio took a direct hit and the sound you hear is a hacksaw that they're using to remove the left front suspension, the upright on the car, to hopefully get him back in. Mario, are you okay? All right, he'll give us a nod and watch the work continue and help direct repairs to the Newman Haas Lola. Of course, it just depends now how long they maintain this red. Um, whether they give these guys, in fact, enough chance uh, to get these cars back into at least some sort of a race-ready state. Well, there is a clock running. I believe it's 15, 20 minutes. It gets us back to a condition to line them back up and send them out once the course has been cleared. And, of course, we have all those cars back there that... Uh, still it to be brought around that were parked back there. Uh, here comes the 39 car where it all began. He was running way back on the tail end of the field when all of this flat car started. Dennis Vitolo was shown well out of contention. He was back in 20th spot, several laps down. And Mario, is, you can see here, is angry and does not want to go on television, but to his crew, he's letting them know in no uncertain terms how unhappy he is about what has happened to this team today. The entire team eliminated in this incident that happened on the corner of Woodbridge and St. Antoine here in the streets of Detroit. Mean streets indeed for the Andretti Fed. Look again at what happened. There you see Mario coming around the corner, full lock on. Car not responding at all because the front wheels are locked up. <coughs> so he has no steering way at all. Somebody else gets through there. I can't work out who that was still. But, um, now, they have two of these vehicles that are alike, the number one and the number two, and they switch positions all the way around the track. In other words, there's one equidistant on this two-and-a-half-mile course, and if one is called into service, the other one moves around. So there is a lot of movement of these vehicles, and it does give you a heart throb to see yeah. them out there with these cars zipping by at 150, 160 miles an hour. It certainly looked, though, as if Michael arrived on the scene just a little bit too.